had my fence take a look at Lord Julian's medallion. Perry says the crest belongs to the Rutherfords, one of the oldest so-called great families with a castle in South Quarter and a street named after them. They've got a lot of wealth and a nasty reputation for turning on each other. Based on that conversation I overheard, Julian is definitely carrying on the family tradition. Lord Ember, Julian's cousin, currently resides in the castle, and Julian wants revenge. Julian had a good plan. Hide inside a supply cart and ride in after dark, then signal the cook to open the side door by putting out the lion's head torch in the courtyard. A good enough plan for me to use myself. That bloodline opal sounds valuable, and it's better off with me than sitting around in their vault. But I can't get lazy. Ember will have his personal guard and doubtless a few other family tricks in store for anyone who comes after the opal. Everyone's gone in. Black as pitch out here. They doubled the watch. This castle's as old as South Quarter. See the way the stone is? Pulled off an army. Probably has. You really think so? Who knows? It's an old part of town. Streets are all different here. Not like Aldale or Stone Market. Ah, what do you know about it? I could have been in the city watch. I knew it that well. I could find my way around blind. <sighs> Bet you've seen things. You wouldn't believe it. Saw a rat once as big as a dog. I saw a man, dead in the street, without his skin. Come on, who'd take somebody's skin? Could be... Nah, I won't say it. Nobody knows the whole city. How old it is, how many times it's been built over. Not the Hammerites, nobody. It's out. I hope that cook is as good as his word. Who put out the lights? <sighs> Lord Julian was pretty angry. You see his face when he walked out? I wasn't there. Julian's the better man. Oh, don't speak of it. You're a sworn man, fool. I don't like this. Brothers fighting. They'll settle it, you'll see. A marriage or a treaty or a, a dancing party. Whatever the noble folk have. What did they quarrel over? Some kind of bet? Something about their hawks, I think. I like a good bear baiting myself. <laughs> it is a fine thing. <laughs>
was up all night sewing the new uniforms for Lord Ember. Hands all bloody this morning. <sighs> and Julian will change them right back when he returns, you mark me. You think he'll come back? I never said that. I never said it either. Was that? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe someone just moved it. He said he'd come back. Should I strike first? Brawling in the city streets would look bad, but if I show weakness, I'm finished. Already they are plotting against me. Evening. Oh, very well. Very well indeed. What are you looking at? Ice front! Yes, sir. Idiot. Another medallion. Wonder if anyone will pay more for a matched set. Lady Elizabeth is a proper lady. She attended Lady Pollock's school for young ladies, and she can write in both ancient brilliant and modern prinkish. Hmm. Well, I guess that's something. Your Lord Ember's knowledge of the world is limited to the names of his ancestors and equine diseases of the mouth. I don't like the way she looks at me. Like I've been sneaking about or something. Well, you are a bit unkempt. It's them stairs. She has me up there five times a night, changing the torches. Oh, indeed. I shall inform my lady of your displeasure. Don't you dare.
poisons. Better make sure I wash my hands when I get out of here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Where did it go? If someone's there, may as well come out. family vault. That opal is as good as mine. So this is what they all wanted. Well, it's better off with me. Bloodline Opal's mine now, and based on the size of this thing, I'd say it was worth it. But something tells me this Lady Elizabeth character had her own plans for the Rutherfords. I'd better get the Opal to Perry soon. He can cut it into smaller stones that are easier to move. And we'll both make a tidy profit. <laughs> 